Thanks. I think he has Ness on that lineup. Oh, no, Lucas. Okay. You know, he, he's always raving about Lucas, and um, character's not too bad, but I think the play style of Icoda really helps him out playing Lucas. Mm -hmm. um, because in this game, Lucas doesn't really have those grab conversions and kind of like even like a semi aggressive play style. You kind of have to camp. And oh, I Icoda see. is more than willing to do that. I mean, it's not too bad in this in this game because like if you get a lead, you can just kind of like get extra credit, right? Yeah, I exactly. Yeah, you get you find a stock and you're just chilling. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Almost sends him right into that knight, but not quite. This Zelda looking pretty clean. I haven't seen too much of it. The arguably best Zelda in Georgia based off wins. Mm. So I'm really excited to see what kind of damage he can do to this Roy. Amazing tech out. Definitely would have caught heavy damage right there. Maybe even an edge guard situation to die. Here we go. Not getting uh, a kill right there. Yeah, and I don't think you can punish um, the lightning kicks on shield. Something that Omega's probably going to have to figure out in this set if he wants to go the distance. Oh, yeah. But right now, it's not looking too good. Already almost getting lapped in percent. Edge guard situation right here. And this should be dead, yeah. He got the sweet spot right there. So now it looks like we're going to move on to the Lucas. And here he go. He's about to camp. Oh, oh wait a second. What? Wait, 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 wait. He should be going out there. He should be, you know, abusing Lucas off stage. Yeah. But Lucas does have a very long up B. Oh, here we go. Up B, yeah, of course. All right. And oh, my gosh. That is actually amazing against Roy. Yeah. He's always hated this character, but I feel like maybe, you know, Lucas might be the answer. Play a little campy game, you know, find the kills with grabs from Roy being unsafe. Well, it looks like he's playing, like, really aggressive instead of just camping out. Yeah, a little bit. He knows that he has a little room to work with. Um, he has his arguably best character in his lineup, mm -hmm. the Me Gunner. Oh. Um, so he can play around. Yeah. I mean, he might even take the stock with uh, Lucas. Yeah, he might. Uh, it's looking very plausible. He can't. Look, Arsen, if he gets the up B, there you go. Yeah. Fortunately for Omega, but unfortunately he lost... Um, Arsene right there. You know, he definitely would have got edge guarded, I feel like, if he had to up B. Mm -hmm. uh, but now he kind of loses all his oh. damage. Goodness, gr what a catch. He could have waited too, you know, just tether and like not snap to the ledge. Mm -hmm. um, but either way, Ikota was just all over him right there. Didn't even need his best character. Wow. Then again, you know, he did play Lucas uh, for the most part in Smash 4. Mm -hmm. um, definitely the main he rode out for pretty much his entirety after he dropped Ness. Yeah, I mean, he, he has so many lineups that he could do, like, you know, counter picks, and it's really scary. I think he's probably the best, him and Salt One, probably the best squad strike players in Georgia. Mm -hmm. um, I'd probably give the edge to Salt One, you know. He's won most of the tournaments where they've both attended. Yeah, Salt One's just a really good player, right? Yeah, he's insanely good. I, I can go on and on about, like, how, how good Salt One is. Because I think... Um you know, I'm new to this whole community and stuff, but I was recently watching like some Smash Four videos of him. Yeah. Or was he was like a he was like a prodigy, right, or something like that, right? Yeah, he was a prodigy. He actually got interviewed at like a really early Momocon by EE, -E, and he like predicted pretty much. EE -E is just a legend in general. Unfortunately, you don't have EE -E on this uh, setup. He just he just got us, but we're gonna give you the best we can. And right now, this young Link is giving Omega everything he needs. Trying to go for a little air dodge read situation but I coda so patient wow. oh doesn't get the sweet spot wow okay great wow Catch. Off stage oh my play. gosh and I coda kind of rolling his eyes right there he's like that should not have happened he missed two techs you know being a top player you definitely have to hit those techs but it's understandable with a character like Zelda such a long up but you really don't expect to you know not make it back um Wow, okay. Catching a little bit of an air dodge. Trying to aggressively land right there. Knowing that his defensive options are getting get stuffed out. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks like Omega's doing what um, uh, Ikota did to him the other game. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Just using the young link to his advantage, mm -hmm. taking a page out of Icota's book. All right, trying to roll his way in, but not quite, and getting scooped up. Omega's reactions, he's got them young man reactions. Wow. Oh my gosh, okay. This young link is <laughs> maybe the fire he needed. He might get the three stock. I mean, I don't know. He's at a very high percent, but you never know. Yeah, I mean, he has beaten uh, Icoda with his Joker, which is the character that's not coming out right now. It's the Roy. Um, another character that uh, Icoda actually think beats Me Gunner. Oh. Mm -hmm. We're kind of seeing on display right here, you know, Me Gunner wants to play kind of an away game, and Roy doesn't really let you do that. Yeah, so Roy's just trying to chase you down, and Me Gunner's just trying to run away. Definitely. That That is the matchup summed up very nicely. A lot of shield pressure right there. But Battlefield kind of working out for Omega, having a place to run. Avoid all of Me Gunner's little tricks. All right. Oh, nice conversion right there, knowing that the back air probably would not have connected and just going for damage. What we got, and we got complete option coverage. I don't know what Omega could have done besides, like, just stay on the ledge. Maybe just taking that little... little Grenade. Oh, and that should be death. He got the sweet spot. Wow. I could have actually jumping. It looked like maybe if he didn't press a button, he could have lived, but that young link. Oh my gosh. Definitely the spark he needed. Yeah. All right, so a game three situation right here in a best of three. Is it best of three? So all of Squad Strike best of three, trying to get it done as fast as possible, you know, get on to the main event, which is also happening on, it looks like the sides, is that the GB stream? Oh, okay, okay, it's recording setup. So this, this is the main stream. For. So this is the last game. This is potentially the last game. So Omega can reset the bracket because he's on the loser side. He has oh, to yeah. win twice. Um, and if that happens, we're going to have another set. And as I said before, you know, he played Ness in Smash 4. Still plays Ness now. Mm -hmm. And he's got the counter picks whenever he needs it. And I feel like this is an amazing counter pick to the Young Link. Oh. Wow. Okay. Super safe on shield. Up to into up B. And getting tech chases. Okay. You know, the, the Ness was the counter pick, but it, it's kind of looking like, you know, maybe a little bit of a mistake for Mykota. All right, scooping him up with the up B once again, trying to get the back air, but not quite. And now we got an advantage save from Icoda. Here we go, off stage. Oh, yeah. Okay. I like that, just running away from danger. Once again, and great DI, not going to get up, up air uh, oh, to die. Very scary. All right, so I know Omega actually does play a lot with Chun Chumara, uh, probably our best young Link in the state. So maybe he's picked up a couple tricks, or maybe he's just been labbing this character. I don't know why, but I know he said that young Link was pretty fun. And this is kind of looking fun right now. You know, he's got Icoda at a pretty high percent. You know, one up tilt probably would close it out if he can find that. And, and they are just, you know, Fishing for these hits. Icoda finally finding one terrible DI from Omega. Just going straight up into the blast zone. So what do you think about Ness versus Swords? Ness versus Swords? Well, well I guess it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter now he's dead. <laughs> he is gone. And now we got the Me Gunner as oh, the second choice. Here's the what the run back from last game. Yeah. Uh, Me Gunner versus Roy. We're definitely going to see the run back right here. And right now, Icoda just setting up shop, not letting Roy in whatsoever. Omega really got to be patient about, you know, which situations he chooses to try and approach. Yeah, and he needs to try to read those his uh, evasive options. You know yeah. He needs to watch out for these dashbacks. All right. Oh, uh oh. Are we in there? Nah, we're not in there. And that ass match reached him so far. That's crazy. Uh oh. Here we go. Off stage. How's he gonna up B? Oh. Amazing tech from Omega. Oh my gosh. The presence of mine. Oh. Got a little greedy there. <laughs> Shout out to Roy. Oh, dang. Roy's downer hitbox is still absolute garbage. Oh. But Icoda will take that. And hitting the grenade back in actually hurts 
I coda, I didn't know that. Oh, All right. the that jump. Nair to cover so many options. Wow, okay, so the upper not having any lag and the up to a potent kill option for Icota right there. Let's see if the Joker can uh, get any work done. A matchup that he has won, you know, a set against with this character. Um, oh. See if he He's about to get edge guarded. Oh. All right, trying to get that first hit. Uh, for, first hit forwarder, you know, something that MKLeo has definitely patented and made his own. But it doesn't need it. So, I mean, all Lucas needs to do, Ra, is just knock him off the stage. Unless he has Arsene. Essentially, yeah. It, I mean, now we got Arsene. This is this is kind of scary if you're Icota because you're going to take a lot of damage. Oh, dang. All right, but looking, you know, looking like a possibility of Icota just closing this out right now. Definitely waiting out this, this Arsene any way he can. Not letting Omega in. Ooh, okay. That was a really scary situation. The drag down. Okay, into the upper. 47%. And catching another landing from Icota. You don't want to get grabbed, but oh, you just get the trade. forward aired into the blast zone. All right, so, you know, good stuff to Icota. Um, using the Ness counterpick, I guess.